Okay, guys, I have a final part for the animal locomotion. Plant locomotion, I'm just going to give you more latihan. It's more like how the structures, how the GDD helps the herbaceous plants, how the, the woody bark and everything helps the plants them. So after today, the next part, I'll just give you the answers and everything them. Let's uh, finish off with the four worksheets today, guys. So then we will move on to chapter three. Okay, chapter three there. So by the time, I'm sure, guys, with this uh, this MCO for us, schools will be the one of the last things, the last, uh, pa uh, schools will be the one of the last uh, things to open up. That means that you'll be, maybe you only will start back school, maybe after the Raya break only there. Okay, can I? So, be consistent, do a lot of exercise, uh, stack back on your form 4 work as well. We never know what kind of changes might happen. Now currently there's no, uh, your SPM is in November, it might go to December. Hopefully it goes a little bit more. Gives you some more gap there, papers got some gap and I think that. But you be consistent, okay? Just do latte, you don't know, have to sit down and study so never mind. Just do a lot of exercise. I've told you many times that do a lot of exercise there, be consistent, you will be fine. Okay, can I? So the last part for chapter two. Last part for chapter two. The earthworm part only a little bit detail. Uh, if not the insects, the frogs all quite straightforward. Like I said, insects will be quite on explain. The frogs all just read through a bit. I'll help you with the latian as well. Okay, can I? Now here, yeah, guys. Earthworm is hydrostatic skeleton. It means inside of fluid. The fluid is the one that enables the movement to occur. Then the one and only concept that we learn, concept wise that we learn, is antagonistic muscles here. Here also got two muscles there. One is called circular muscles. Circular muscles move this way. That means it goes this way. Circular muscles are macam ni. This way, circular muscles. Pushing downwards, pushing downwards will be longitudinal muscles. So again, you must already be clear. If one muscle contracts, another muscle will relax. That is antagonistic muscles. So, you see this guys. John Tony, can take it. Earthworm, katakan yang ni, I know my lukisan a bit canggih here, okay, so the earthworm, earthworm this is the anterior part, the front part, posterior is the back part, anterior front part, posterior is the back part, yeah. so when the earthworm moves, it will, see I give you an idea guys, the front part gets pulled forward, then the back part follows, front part gets pulled forward, then the back part follows. It isn't like whole earthworm doesn't just do like that. Like guys, it's like waves of movement that occur. Waves of movement that occur to enable the earthworm to move forward there. Okay? Can I clear on this? Huh? The one more thing you see, huh? when the front part is moving forward, what muscle contracts? Circular muscle contracts. So circular muscle pulls, enables the body to go forward, go forward. At the same time, the longitudinal muscle will relax at this area here. Now come here pula, ke belakang, yang bagi, yang in the back part there, that must give it some anchoring, that must make it more stable there. Eh? Circular muscles will relax, longitudinal muscles will contract. Longitudinal muscle push which way guys? Push this way, tolak ke bawah, tolak ke bawah, tolak ke bawah. Circular muscles contract this way, this way, this way, this way. So circular muscles is to pull the body forward. But the longitudinal muscle, when they're pulling the body forward, the part where they're pulling the body forward, the longitudinal muscle will relax. The part where got anchoring of the chate, this one, the chate, 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 chate here. When the chate is anchored, what pushes the chate to grip the ground is the, the longitudinal muscle. So, it's simple and the idea is very simple. Whenever you see the body getting pulled forward, see, I divide this in three, yeah. Huh? Three areas, huh? This is the front part of the earthworm. This is the middle part. This is the back part. Cut the cut. You can be waves of muscle, guys. So simple, only. When you see got chate gripping the ground, chate gripping the ground, automatically you must know here longitudinal muscle contracts. So automatically circular muscle will relax. Okay, so let's just go X, Y, Z. X and Z will be the same story, like guys. Why pula? Here got chate. Not say I'm not telling you, no chate, chate disappears, kapa tada lah. Chate is still there, but the chate is not gripping the ground. So when the chate not gripping the ground like this, circular muscle contract. Sorry, circular muscle contract. Longitudinal muscle will. Relax. So simple only, whenever the body gets pulled forward, 
circular muscle contract, longitudinal muscle relax. When the chatte is gripping the ground, circular muscle relax, longitudinal muscles are contracting that. Apa yang membolehkan chatte to grip the ground? Longitudinal muscle. Apa yang membolehkan badan ditarik ke depan? Circular muscle contract. So, this one a bit different. Why no? You explain step by step. So, we give you like less, less, just make it more complicated lah guys. So, earthworm, 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 like this. So, now got four parts, right? Here got chatte, gripping, chatte, gripping, chatte, gripping, chatte, gripping, chatte, gripping. So, you explain part by part lah. So, this one, the part where got chatte, gripping, P, no chatte, gripping, Q, R, S. So, whenever got chatte, gripping, simple. Longitudinal muscle contract, circular muscle relax. When the body gets pulled forward, circular muscle contract, longitudinal muscle relax. This one, P and R, same, Q and S will be same. Okay, hydrostatic skeleton fluid inside the body is the one that generates the pressure to move the muscles there. Okay, actually this one not only in earthworm like guys, so caterpillars or other other worms and other things, they also have the same concept of movement there. But the idea is, our syllabus there, we want to learn it through the earthworm. The latte and the worksheet that I've given you now has some extra work on that part. Make sure you try, I'll give you an answer. I'll give you another day before I give you the answer. So day after tomorrow, I'll give you all the answers. I'll send a lot of answers, okay? And also, don't be overconfident with the past that you already know because this is a remembering chapter, not really a conceptual chapter like pre chapter one. Chapter three, again, a lot of concepts, but chapter one, chapter three, a lot of concepts. Eh? So this is a remembering chapter. Do the Latin, extra Latin that we've given you. Try either print out and do ke, ataupun you can just use PDF format only so you can just thump out the answers there. Try to do. Try the answers. Try them. Okay? Okay, nah? The one more thing I want to settle today's one, guys. The insects. 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 Yeah, locomotion of insects. Okay, insects. See yeah. Insects can crawl. They can fly. And they also can jump. Lah. Okay, so the example of insects in our textbook there will be the grasshopper lah. Okay, my grasshopper would be so chunky if I just gonna draw insects, simple insects like this. But what I want to stress is just this guy, Stephen. Yeah, kaki, kaki, dua kaki ni. The hind leg. The hind limbs here. Got two muscles. Got extensor. And then got flexor muscle. Got extensor and flexor muscle. So simple guys, Stephen. Yeah. See, I show you the, the just look at the high limbs, the, the high uh, legs there, the last last uh, pair of legs there, third pair of legs there. Now look at this, yeah. When the legs gets first of all, they'll move the leg into a Z position. It means the leg comes closer here first. When this happens, when this happens, the flex muscle contract. The extensor muscle will relax. That means this one getting ready to jump. They're bringing their legs closer first before they're going to spring forward there. So this is flexor muscle contract, extensor muscle. Again, same concept. Antagonistic muscle, antagonistic muscle cell. Then the next part here, the muscles here kan? The leg tolak ke belakang. That means the push occurs. Extending the leg, when you extend the leg, boleh lompat kan? So extension, this one here, flexor muscle, relax, extensor muscle, contract. So extend the legs and the grasshopper is propelled forward. Okay? Okay lah, easy part, straightforward, no big deal, direct, the only thing they can ask is this extensor flexor muscles there. If not, grasshopper guys, grasshopper also got wings. So the wings, they flap their wings, they flap their wings up, right, left, right, up, down, left, right, dan sebagainya, to propel themselves forward. Okay, so their wings a bit more, not like the bird's wing where got pectoralis major, pectoralis minor, only just like more, more uh, motion lah, more movement for them to do. Up, down, left, right, and so on. Okay, okay, okay nah. Then other than that, one more thing I must stress for no, is this uh, walking or crawling there, guys. Crawling is here. They have this thing called tripod movement. This is supposed to be the insect. Top view. Kaki, 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 kaki lah. It works out, guys. X, 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 katakan. This one, Y, Y, Y. So, to crawl, right, they got three pairs of legs, right? So, 
you do easy lap one we move one another one does not move so next one moves left moves right does not move so fast fast we move for so they take turns but again but since they got three pairs we got one pair they got three pairs there's a bit more chunky like that's how does it work you know first when you want to go forward let's say x x x moves let them y tapa gara so be the x tapa gara y tapa gara be the y tapa gara x tapa gara so x or move for the y x y so x move then y is called tripod tripod move for that because this three and this three work together so when x are going forward y does not go when y go forward x does not go so is that very fast control by the brain fast motion then so you don't see much you do you don't really see the the changes that occur but when x move x move y don't move when y move x don't move this is how we can call kind of thing and then they go wings they can crawl then even the frog same thing as extensor flexor muscles so actually got name for it muscles all up my first simple extensor x flex first flex first flex means like we flex our arm is bringing our arm closer that's flexing extend flex extend flex extend so for the insect they flex first bring it closer then extend lompat extend lompat okay can i clear on this guys so all the animal parts that settled human parts all done only thing i hutang is the latian answers that so i'll give you the answers settle off ready so chapter 2 done okay uh if you already got the past few questions try the past few questions you don't have means i'll keep the past few questions i'm going to try to finish before i see you back again in normal tuition classes i'm going to try to finish chapter 2 chapter 3 Or at least little bit touch chapter four, depending on how long this MCO goes. Like guys, I guess at least touch chapter. But hopefully, can only finish chapter three. So when I come back, when I see you back again, I give you the past year questions for chapter three. Uh, sorry, chapter two and chapter three. Yeah. So you settle that before we go to chapter four. Okay. So our next target, next target is already we'll be starting the next part, next lesson, teaching lesson that we're going to do is going to be the brain structure. Continuation with it will be the nervous, the nerves, all the three types of neurons: afferent neuron, efferent neuron, inter neurons. So the past level. Okay, take care, guys. Stay safe. Be consistent. Do a lot of latian worksheet. Latian will give you a lot of touch up. Do a lot of latian. All the tick tick textbooks that you have. Sorry, tick tick reference books that you have. And I think that all the workbooks that you have, please continue doing that. Okay, take care. Hope to see you soon. Stay safe.